Hey guys, Zach here, and welcome back to another action figure review, and today we'll be taking a look at the Bandai Creation Burning Godzilla version 1. Now this version of Godzilla comes from the 1995 film Godzilla vs. Destroya. It's a pretty good film. I'm not going to talk about what happens in it because I don't want to spoil anything, but all I'm saying is that you should definitely check it out. It's a pretty damn good film, but yeah. A lot of people consider this look of Godzilla to be one of their favorites, and to be completely honest, I kind of disagree. If anything, I think this uh, look for Godzilla is very overrated. I mean, it's just the Heisei Godzilla, but with orange markings all over it. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, also, it looks like he has a bikini, so, yeah, that's probably another reason why I don't like this look for Godzilla. So, yeah. But, anyway, yeah. I do still think that this figure is alright. It's not perfect by any means necessary, but I still think it's alright. So, yeah. Anyway, let's take a look at the paint. So, looking at the paint, we can see that most of the body is this charcoal black, which looks really nice. We have the correct shade of orange for the correct spots of where the orange marks are, like on the shoulders right here, and on the thighs, and the bikini again. What the fuck? Anyway... <laughs> Also, the uh, the dorsal fins are painted orange with a nice uh, black airbrushing in the center right here, which looks nice. The toe claws, finger claws, and teeth are painted this dirty white color. The tongue is painted red. The eyes are orange with black pupils. You can't really tell because of the shading right now, but there is a little white dot to indicate shine. That, my camera is picking up, but... Actually, you can kind of see it if you look closely, but yeah, it is a little hard to see. But anyway, yeah, that's basically it for the paint. I like it. I think it looks really nice on this figure. So yeah, the paint definitely gets a pass. Now we'll take a look at the articulation for this figure. And again, the articulation is pretty basic for a Bandai Creation figure. So basically the head can twist 360. The arms can move backwards that much and forwards this much. The legs can spin 360, and the tail can twist 360. So, yeah. Something to point out, um, I don't know why you would, but if you do plan on spinning the legs 360, uh, right here on the leg kind of rubs against this part of the tail, or that part of the tail right here, as you can see right there, so, yeah, that's, that could damage your figure, but... Looking at it now, it looks alright to me, but still, if you do want to be careful, then yeah, don't do that. Again, I don't see why you would, but then again, if you want to give this figure to a kid, then, well, yeah. But if you're a collector, I do not understand why you would just want to continually spend the light. But anyway, that is it for the articulation. It's pretty basic for a Bandai Creation figure, so yeah, it gets a pass. Now I'll take a look at the sculpt, and the sculpt is... Uh, there are some things I don't like about the sculpt. For one, this is just a minor nitpick, but I don't really like how Godzilla is just hunched over like that. This actually reminds me more of Godzilla Jr. rather than Burning Godzilla, the way he's hunched over. Because Godzilla Jr. also appeared in Godzilla vs. Destroya, and it was basically uh, this, but smaller and green, and he didn't have any spines and no orange marks, obviously, so yeah. It looks more like uh, Godzilla Jr., the sculpt, so, yeah. Not saying that's a bad thing, I'm just saying that's what it looks like. Another thing I don't like are these sausage arms. Basically, it looks like he has no wrist. It just looks like, to me, like, just the arm, and then fingers come out of nowhere, and that's what it looks like to me, and, yeah. That does not look nice at all, in my opinion. Also, the head sculpt, it's not bad, but... Comparing it to the film, yeah, it's not perfect either. Now, I'm not expecting SH Monster Arts quality with uh, these figures, alright? When these came out, these were originally like 8 bucks, probably like 4 probably cheaper than that, but yeah, either way, I'm not expecting too much for the sculpt, so yeah. As much as uh, there are gripes on this uh, sculpt, I actually do kind of like it, so the sculpt gets a pass, I guess, so, yeah. Now we'll take a look at the detailing, and the detailing is amazing on this figure, especially for the body, like, 
taking a closer look, all the scales are well detailed and they're just amazing looking. They're just so well defined, like looking at the head right there, the side of the body, the side of the leg right there, and the arms. The tail looks really nice as well. And so does the underside of the tail. Looks really nice as well. I really do like how the wrinkles look. At the bottom of the feet, we have a bunch of legal information, so, yeah. And, yeah, we can see uh, really small uh, spikes starting to form on the back of the neck right there, which look really nice. The dorsal plates, eh, they could look a little bit better, but, yeah, they still look all right. And these uh, smaller uh, plate, or whatever you want to call them, yeah, they look a little, eh, they look weak compared to the rest of the detailing on this figure. The, de the teeth, there we go, I can speak, the teeth are detailed in, and yeah, that looks okay, but yeah. Anyway, that is it for the detailing. It is freaking amazing, so it definitely gets a pass, and that's basically it for this figure. Should you get this figure? As much as there are some things that I don't really like, I will still safely say that this figure is pretty good. However, getting this figure now is not cheap whatsoever. I had this figure since I was a little kid, so yeah. But either way, good luck trying to find a cheap price for this figure. But if you want to know how big this figure is, here he is next to Dr. Billy Grant. Alright, now that is it for today. Have a great rest of your week, and I will see you in the next video. Peace, Zach out.